my name is Benno, and I'm going to show you Core Tools for Magnolia. And so this guy is called Till, and he's my boss, and he has a lots, lots of ideas every day. And one day he came and he told me that we're doing Magnolia now. Um, and I, of course, was thinking, what the heck is Magnolia? But as I'm always keen to learn new things, I thought, let's build a website with this. And I had to say, this is good stuff. I liked the Java, the strong Java backend. I liked the YAML definition files, the flexibility it gave me. And I thought, yes, we can use that. But if we are using that, and I'm coming from the tooling industry, I said, Let's download the tooling. So, but, well, I had a, had a hard time to find this download link, so I asked in the forum, um, where is the tooling? And I got the answer, well, you can use Notepad. So I thought, oh no, really, no tooling? Oh, you must be mad. So I went stri straight back to my boss and told him, let's build Magnolia tools. It's going to be awesome. And he was like, uh, I don't know, dude, really? Do we have to do that? And well, as I'm not listening to my boss, I, s I did it anyways. And uh, I sat down and programmed code tools for Mag Magnolia. And I told my boss, I did that. Now you do your job and you go sell that. So, um, as you can see, something went terrible wrong because I'm standing up here and he's sitting down there uh, enjoying the show. But uh, he's a very charming guy, so he convinced me that I'm the right person to stand up here. Uh, why is that? Well, as I said, my name is Benno and I've been building tools on and off for the last 15 years. I've been an Eclipse Java development tooling and platform committer for many years. So I know how to build uh, especially Eclipse plugins. And as I said, if we're going to use that at Comerge, I want to help my team to, to perform better, to have more fun with working with Magnolia. And I think tooling is a key factor here. So as I said, I sat down, started coding, uh, listening loud music, swearing a lot. Uh, I got great support from the Magnolia guys. And after some more coffee, I started to implement uh, IntelliJ plugin. Looks like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And out came Core Tools for Magnolia. Now, you may, may ask, uh, what, what, what is Code Tools for Magnolia? So I want to show you a very short, condensed version, a video that shows you what Code Tools for Magnolia can do for you. And afterwards, I'm going to show you a bit more in-depth uh, explanation of how you're going to use that. So let's see. So with Code Tools for Magnolia, I get syntax highlighting. You get code completion, you get Java type completion, um, you get validation on the fly for properties and classes, and you get hyperlinking to navigate your code. Just control click and jump to wherever you want to go. And we support at the moment, Eclipse and IntelliJ, and you can download that now. It works fine, I hope. So that's the advertisement video. And now I want to go a bit uh, into deep and, and show you how, how that looks like. So here I show you uh, the Eclipse version. As I said, we have IntelliJ as well. And for Eclipse, any more or less recent version will do. For IntelliJ, 
unfortunately only the 2016. Um, to install this plugin, you add the, the location of the update site and you install it. Now you can import your project. Well, first we create one. We uh, use the Maven archetype here. You saw, probably saw the talk from Jan uh, with the NPN scaffolding. Uh, of course, we want to support this. That's a great, great thing. But currently, we will go with the Maven example and you can import your Maven project. You don't have to use Maven. You can use any build system that Eclipse supports. But, yeah. Now, once that is important in Eclipse, very important, you have to configure your project to, uh, to add the Magnolia support to get all the features I'm just going to show you. So you go to configure, add support, and you get the builder and everything that you need to validate or have content assist. Um, you're going to create a very simple dialogue that just has one text field just uh, for demonstration purposes. Again, the scaffolding here could be much better, and we will do that. So let's add this, this dialogue. And well, the first thing you get is syntax highlighting. So zoom in here, and you see the little co colors. Uh, on top of that, we provide content assist. So anywhere your cursor is, you hit control space, as you're maybe used from the Java editor, and it will propose you all the possible uh, values you can use there, like tabs, tab has a name and a label, and it has fields, and the field has a name. On top of that, we can validate your code on the fly. So let's say you type label here by mistake instead of label. You get immediately to get this uh, little warning here. And when you hover over it, it will tell you that it's not a known property because it's called uh, label. We also have Java type completion. So a field needs a type, and if you hit control space here, it will propose you all the classes inheriting from field definition that are visible in your workspace, like the famous text field definition. Just select it, and it will fill out all the code for you. We also validate this, so if you, by mistake, only type text field, it will tell you that this is not a known type. We can, we can inspect this type and propose to you properties that are only defined inside this type. Like for the text field definition, you have here you see rows and the max length. Those are two properties provided by text field definition. Core Tools knows that, proposes to you and we then have hyperlink navigation, so you press control, you hover over the element you want to open, and when you click, it will open this Java type for you, and you can immediately see, yes, this is the rows and the max length that was proposed. Now we can also validate this. Let's say you want to change this to a rich text field. You get a warning here that rows is not known. And again, if you control click, you jump to the definition and you see that rows is not proposed, uh, is not, not defined in this class. So let's undo this. The last thing you need is actions. And you maybe usually would copy paste this code. But I think with code tools, it's uh, feasible to just type that in. Do commit here, class, and then save dialog, enter, and it fills out all this code for you. 
We also support template definitions, like here. Uh, it expects a dialog. You can hit control space again. You get all the dialogs in your workspace, including this text dialog which is defined. And you select it, and it fills out the correct ID for you. And also, we support property proposals here, like available components. Now, let's add a video here. And I know that the MTK provides this video. But as you can see, uh, this is not proposed, because um, you have to add a dependency to the Magnolia templating kit to pull in these definitions. So let's add this dependency to the Maven POM file. And once this is rebuilt, You can go back, hit MTK or video, and you get the MTK proposed. You can even control click this and jump to the definition of, the, of this MTK video. Yes. So that's the Eclipse version. I want to really really quickly show you how this looks in IntelliJ. And we also support uh, light module development. So if you don't like the, all this Maven stuff, you can just open your light module folder and have all the support I just showed you. And we support that in Eclipse and IntelliJ. Uh, I'm going to show you the IntelliJ version. So to install, you go to the preference page, plugins page, and you install it from disk. Uh, choose the, the char file you can download from our home page. And you restart. I show you WebStorm here. It also works in IDEA. Um, then what you need to do is you configure code tools and point it to the Magnolia prepackaged pre download so that code tools can inspect this folder and propose to you uh, all the types that are available. Okay, we've done that. Now we just opened your light modules folder. And you're ready. So also here you get hyperlinking, so just control click, control click, control click. What you cannot do with light modules is uh, open Java types because they're not in the workspace. But what we still can do is validate them. So let's remove the N here and you get an, e an error immediately telling you that there's something wrong. And we also have content assist. So let's add another component. And you see all the components available in the pre-bundled version are available, like tours. Yes. That's it for the videos. Uh, I've showed you validation on the fly. I showed you content assist. And I showed you the hyperlink navigation. I said that's available now, and I think it's very useful, but we have many more ideas what we can do. And we have a roadmap. Well, it's more, uh, we have ideas what we could do. Like for us, uh, we're using free marker templates and Angular, but for free marker, it would be awesome if we also had content assist support, if we had validation on the fly. Um, this externalizing or localizing these strings is very uh, annoying, I think. For me, it's all copy-paste around, so that would be great to have support. Um, refactorings, like rename dialog or 
code scaffolding, as said, maybe this NPN approach is good for us to integrate somehow, and other stuff like app definitions. Now, our, our problem is a bit, we, we are not sure um, what is most valuable to you. So we thought, uh, we need your help here, and we want you to help us um, make this tool great. Thanks. So uh, we prepared a little vote. Um, this is uh, done with a tool called Direct uh, poll, it's from etc. Yeah, I guess some are here from etc. Um, there will also be a talk tomorrow by etc. It's sure going to be interesting, and that's a nice little um, tool. Uh, but for this vote, I, I need help, uh, and I uh, need help from my boss, of course. So, but he's a bit shy. Please, up loud. <laughs> Come up here. Thank you. Why do you need my help? Well, just <laughs> up here. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I don't need your help. <laughs> just wanted to embarrass you a bit. Um, so this is, this is Till in real life. So if you have any questions, he will be here tonight and also tomorrow, and I will also be here. And so you did all the work. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now I think you had time. Let's see if that works. Oh, I can't see it here. Wow, so many free mark, huh? Yeah, it. yeah but it's very hard to do. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I think I have to do it here. Go to the next question. Mm. Ah, it works. Great. That's cool. So, our next question. What build tool are you using? Okay. Hmm. Well, Maven is still in the lead, but just a bit. NPM, yeah. And our last question. That's very important to us, obviously. Hmm. A common eclipse. Ah, <laughs> oh, really? Ah, oh. that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, well, interesting. Notepad plus plus. Okay. <laughs> Hey, well, thanks very much for your per participation. Uh, I think I know what I have to do now. Uh, <laughs> just have to convince my boss to invest more in this. Um, you can help him or help me by uh, going download it and try it out and hopefully give feedback. Um, as I said, we have Eclipse, we have IntelliJ, idea and webstorm and if you have any questions now or later or tomorrow uh, we will be around thank you